Good morning. We're in the Gospel of Luke today, chapter 17, verses 1 through 4, and let's read it. Then he said to the disciples, It is impossible that no offenses should come, but woe to him through whom they do come. It would be better for him if a millstone were hung around his neck and he were thrown into the sea than that he should offend one of these little ones. Take heed to yourselves. If your brother sins against you, rebuke him, and if he repents, forgive him. And if he sins against you seven times in a day, and seven times in a day returns to you, saying, I repent, you shall forgive him. Okay, so let's just take that for a moment. So now he's teaching about the true gift of forgiveness and, and so on. Now, we shouldn't just say we're repenting. We shouldn't just say that and expect people to forgive us. But we're told here that we, that's the way we should behave, is if somebody sins against you several times during the same day, you should be willing and ready to forgive them and receive them. Now, again, over time, you'll see if it's sincere or not. But some of us make a lot of mistakes. Some of us have a lot of sin things that need to be sorted out. So Jesus is telling us, be overabundant, be superabundant in your mercy. And this is exactly the opposite. Remember, this is chapters 13 through 17 of Luke is kind of Jesus versus the Pharisees' view of God. And so this chapter is a part of that. And it's the Pharisees' view is, no, you don't forgive somebody, at, you don't forgive them even hardly once. And Jesus says, no, re repeatedly forgive them. God, your Father, has repeatedly forgiven you. You, therefore, will repeatedly forgive others because that's the way I want the universe to work. And without that kind of repeated forgiveness, where would we, you and I, where would we be? Uh, we, would be we would be in a pretty rough situation. So Jesus is teaching the true picture here, and we want to be right here. Uh, if your brother sins against you, rebuke him. If he repents, forgive him. It doesn't say you can't rebuke, and it doesn't say you should have a fake repentance, but it does tell us that we should sincerely when they sincerely repent, we should sincerely forgive them. And we can't really judge. Uh, we don't really know how sincere someone's repentance is, but we can say, you know what? I am going to trust this to the Lord, and I'm going to accept what you're saying to me, and I forgive you. So there's another piece, something very different between the way the Pharisees wanted it and the way Jesus said it truly is. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, Lord, we're looking to you today. We want to be right. Uh, help us to be more forgiving. Most of us are not forgiving enough. So help us when we repent to be truly repenting and help us as we return, when we return to you, help us to truly return to you. Help us not to be judges of others' hearts, Lord. Help us to be ready to forgive and help us to be more like Jesus. This, Lord, is our prayer and we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, we'll carry on tomorrow morning, continuing in Luke chapter 17. In the meantime, may God's blessings be upon you.